All right, folks, this is Doc Phoenix back with all the Mario's Mario Party. Uh, I said last time that we were going to move on to the next map, but uh, I've decided that you should kind of jump into um, the minigame island next. Because that'll give us like a, a... It'll let us see all of the minigames so that then we can kind of plow through all of the boards, mostly in fast forward, rather than like sitting and watching. So, Minigame Island is a single-player mode where, basically, it's it's like an adventure mode where you're trying to clear all of the minigames. Hey, there's a raft out out in the ocean! Is that...? It's Mario! Riding the raft and coming over to Minigame Island. Now, there's someone else on the raft besides Mario. Who's on the raft besides Mario? Who do you think? Uh, Wario? It's Wario! Oh, I was right! <laughs> Welcome to Minigame Island! Let's explain the island. Or it's the object of the islands to reach the goal. <laughs> That's the object of all islands! There are nine worlds and you must clear each of the minigames found in those worlds. The minigame starts by moving to a minigame space. After clearing a minigame, you can move to the next space. However, if you miss, you lose one life. If you miss when you have zero lives left, it's game over. The remaining life is shown in the upper left corner of the screen. When you play a minigame, you'll gain a life. Hey, you get coins. Every hundred coins is another life. And you can save the game at the Koopa space. And you game over, you start from your save. It's it's a game. It's where a game you go with through mini things. games in this game about mini games. So yeah, here's here's our first world of the mini game place. Coin block blitz is our first mini game. So yeah, there's uh, each mini game in the entire game is one of the spaces here. Okay. You go through, you play through all the mini games. So we'll we'll see all of the mini games here. So okay. we, we saw this one before in the last Uh, session. not exactly. Oh! This, uh, we saw the one versus three version of this, where one player has a hammer. Mm -hmm. This one, nobody has a hammer. So, uh, and you can see in green there that, um, some of the, the minigame island versions have, like, different, uh, condi win conditions. Since, you know, sometimes there's not, like, a clear winner in all of them. It's just get as many coins as you can. So for this one, if you get ten or more coins, then you clear it for the purposes of Minigame Island. Okay. So, it's... You, you run around hitting coin blocks to get coins out of them. They have variable numbers of coins in them. And you, you just go to a block and you hit it and bounce on people to get them out of the way a little bit to get the money yourself. And that's, that's the game. Finish. Pretty sure I got at least 10 coins there. Seems chaotic. Yeah. Clear. Yay. And yeah, as it said, you get a, an extra life every time you clear a minigame. Uh, the coins that you collect in the minigame get added to your total. Every 100 coins is also a life. So, this is Coin Block Bash, which is the one that we saw. Oh. So, yeah, this, it's basically the same thing, except you have a hammer instead. One of the characters starts with the hammer. Uh, the hammer can trade. And also, each block is a brick that takes multiple hits to shatter, as opposed to a... Uh, a coin block where you get a coin every time you hit it. Uh, it knocks people really far away. Yeah, it does. So, I've already gotten two coin bags, and those were worth five each. So, I've already gotten the clear condition. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Nope. Finish! Oh, well. Uh, coin shower flower. It's another uh, 
just collect as many coins as you can. You need 20 coins to clear this game. Coins will shower down onto this flower. Uh, oh, right, this was a one versus three. Uh, so the one player is running around on the flower collecting the coins, and the other three are in boats around the edge, and they can grab coins as they fall off the flower. Okay. So, I kind of like the the one versus three games, like the the asynchronousness of them. At least, like some of them. Some of them are <clears throat> some of them are kind of poorly designed, but it's like I've I've always found asynchronous gameplay interesting, or asymmetric, not asynchronous. Not sure if I got enough there. Okay, I did. Okay, yeah, more than enough. So what does Wario have to do with this? Uh, Wario will be my partner for any 2v2 games. Ah. Paddle battle. Paddle battle. This is another one versus three, and it's uh, a rotate control stick one. So, I'm on the left of this paddle boat, and everyone else is on the right, and we rotate the stick to paddle the boat in the direction that we want it to go. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, because there's, there's shy guys on the sides, and they will poke us with spears if we drift too far over to the, the other side of the river. Like that! A little slippery. <laughs> yeah, the uh, goal for Minigame Island here was to collect 15 coins, so just have a net uh, positive of five stabs. Man's gonna have problems before long. Oh yeah, I, I, oh, I have always hated the rotate control stick games. I am so glad that they got rid of them. They were a terrible idea. Anyway, we can, we can save. So, save and continue. And this is a reminder of how things go. Let's see, memory match. You saw this one. This was the, uh, the one player game where you just try to match the, the things, the panels. This one was pretty easy. Star. Game. Just ground pound. The mini game is called ground pound. It's because the actual ground pound move is not called ground pound in this game for some reason. Yeah. So uh, this is another one-player game, and the goal is to pound the flat post and not the spiked post. Mm -hmm. So at the start, we'll see which is which, and then butterflies will cover them up. So it's it's kind of another memory thing. I'm pretty sure it was just these five. Yep. Why do they call it hip drop when it's not using your hips? I don't know. 
It was uh, just another way they translated it in this game, I guess. Mm. Limbo dance. Uh. Another one, player one. So in this, you are your only control is A, because you hop forward and lean back a bit. If you lean back too far, you will fall over. Uh, if you stop hopping, then you slowly stand back up. And you want to make sure that you're leaning back far enough to go under the poles without falling over. Mm -hmm. Star. And it gives you like a little kind of warning thing when you're getting too close to falling over. different heights of limbo poles there. It's the last one. Finish! Clear! Pretty simple. I kind of like how around the edges of the, the map you've got, like, the actual things of the, the mini games here. <laughs> musical Mushroom. We saw this one. It was... Musical chairs, you get to the mushroom and you hit the chest, is the first one to hit the chest ones. Star. My God. Piranha's Pursuit. This was another one we saw. So you're skateboarding, trying to get away from the piranha plant. This is one verse three. Star. And a lot of these one versus three games have, um, like the the thing of it is that if the one player is plays perfectly, then there's not much that the others can do. Like in this, they're, they're ground pounding to make the piranha plant grow bigger and move faster, but as long as I don't make any mistakes, it will never catch me no matter what they do. Like, a lot of the minigames are kind of like that, where if, if if a player does not make any mistakes, then they're going to be the winner. Cool. 